What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we have a first impressions video. We have the Cloud Rain 3.0 100 thousand candela oh my goodness it is a great great time to be a weapon light enthusiast like i am a hundred thousand candela is just crazy i forget what else i was gonna say um like like we do all lights i'm gonna start with the lumens and the candela first and then we'll go into the other things because especially with this light the lumens and the candela rating are silly so you have 1250 lumens good plenty i like it dig it awesome candela you have a hundred thousand candela this is a candela monster it is uh, it's just amazing so lumens how much light comes out of the flashlight candela is how that light is directed the higher the candela tighter the beam tighter the beam the further it throws but there's more to it than that I always hate when people say why do I need my light to shoot 200 yards or something I don't care it's too bright in the house I'm gonna shine it off a wall anyway um, the high candela number not also shines the light further, but it also goes through different photonic barriers. So if you're shooting and there's fog or smoke, and when you do shoot, especially outdoors, um, that in the indoors too, I shouldn't just say just outdoors, um, that smoke from the gun is enough to stop a low candela light from going through. More realistic is if someone's shining a light back at you, a higher candela light will shine push and shine through that light to blind the bad guy so you can see and not die because I've never died but I think it sucks. When we get to the beam comparison you're gonna see this thing is a laser beam and Cloud designed the uh, head and the reflector in a way where you get a really tight hot spot for shooting out far but you still get a really really good spill. Uh, some companies when you get super high candela the closer up beam is just terrible that's not the case. This has one of the best up close beams and one of the best beams at distance and it's one of the most durable lights I'm getting off track but that's all I got to say about that the specs I told you was with the included 18650 but this thing is now dual fuel which means you can run on 18650 or two CR123s CR123s are not as powerful you do lose some lumens and candela but in a pinch it's better than not having any white light. Um, the runtime as well, I forgot it. 95 minutes, that's with the 18650. Again, you'll lose a little with the CR123. Um, all right, before we get into the cool guy tail cap and tape switch and stuff, I need to thank the sponsor of the video. We got have Paragon Weapon Light Cleaner. I'm gonna take 10 seconds because I've been, they've sponsored all white light videos lately because this stuff is great it works better than any home remedy any cleaning product simple green erasers tape vaseline i've used it all this stuff works better to clean the lens on your weapon monitor light or your laser aiming device especially the laser aiming device this thing with a q-tip is magical anyway um you won't appreciate it until you try it and uh it just it works better than any other thing I have ever used before to clean that lens. And if you're like me and you let them get all gross before you clean them and all caked on and gross. Anyway, tail cap has a lot of unique things. The tail cap is pretty much the same as the previous version clouds. You have a second button here. Uh, slight press is momentary. Full press is constant. And then the tail cap has what they call a battery jack, I believe. And it's proprietary. It's beautiful. You unscrew the head here and you can put the battery jack in at any of the five six locations that are cut out on the light body and that allows you to route the wires exactly how you want it and have the light uh, the light wires as tight as possible now that I'm looking at mine I should probably tape these wires down or get some ranger bands or something but for now it's fine this light is not staying on this gun um, yeah, so the whole the whole tail cap sw switch buttons is is very very cool. Tape switch is nice as well. It seems to be very very similar to the old range, a little bit different. But you have one momentary button. The other button is constant, and they all have like a reverse momentary on the constant button. So you see the lights on. You give it a little press. It turns off. And I use this all the time because I'll use excuse me constant more than momentary. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Wow. Three videos in a row, Siri listening to me. Go away, Siri. So I do like that reverse constant kind of button. Plastic, clips to the rail, and another cool thing is it is reversible how you put it on there. Not all tail uh, tape switches are like that. If you want the momentary out front or the constant out front, you can put it on the tape switch different ways. And again, Cloud really thinks about things before they come out with them. Um, inside the light, they still have that orange battery adapter. That I don't know the name of, I apologize. But 18650s are available in different sizes. 
take the tail cap off, spin that orange little adapter and to make sure that 18650 is snug and not rattling around is good to go. Another thing they have improved over the years is the mounts, the original cloud rain mount I have here. It's not great. The light sticks off like 10 feet <laughs> off of the rail. That was one of the few cons I had. Oh, my back. With the old cloud, the new mounts, they call them torrent mounts, I believe, are way, way better. Nicer, well thought out. There's one that I have on my night vision gun that jets the light out further, which is really, really nice, especially if you're running a suppressor. This one here, again, I don't remember the name of it. It has like 82 different cutouts in it, and it allows you to put the light exactly where you want it and make very, very small, precise adjustments if you want the light a little higher a little lower if you want it on the upper part of the rail you can do it you want it on the lower like I have here it's just very very fine increments and that's important if you are a cool guy and running night vision and you have a mall or a D ball or a peck or whatever you can really snug that light right up underneath it and it'll be a lot less likely to get snagged on anything and that is still cool uh, the other thing I want to point out is these do take the same footprint as the scout mounts so if you have any scout mounts if you have a favorite scout mount this will work with scout mounts also all right these are the dimensions the weight the price this thing is big uh it's a full-size light rather they don't have their micro one out in 3.0 i think they will come out with a micro eventually i, I don't know that's just a guess it only weighs 6.9 pounds which is good for a full-size light with the the mount the tape switch the tail cap the whole nine yards the battery 3.99 it's not cheap but as I will say at the end of the video, it is the best, most durable, brightest, best weapon mounted light on the market in my opinion. All right, we're gonna put some funky rap music on. We're gonna do the beam comparison because just me telling you it's the best beam in the world is not enough. We're gonna go compare it to the old rain, to an HRT light, an Arasaka, maybe a Surefire uh, pistol light. I don't know. I haven't recorded this part of the video yet, so we'll both be surprised. Cloud rain 3.0. 1,200 lumens, 100,000 candela, and it, I think it is the best beam on the market. HRT AWLS, it has 1,700 lumens and 90,000 candela. It is a very, very good beam. It still has a good hot spot, a good spill. The, the cloud looks a little bit brighter, even though technically it's not. It's just the way the cloud was designed, it just looks a little better. All right, this is a stream light with 2,000 lumens, and I brought this one out to show you the difference between a high candela light and a low candela light. So this is the highest lumens out of all three of them by far, but it only has like, I don't know, 20,000 lumens or so. So it's a wall of light. So indoors, it's not so, so bad, but there is... Say it again. 20,000 candela, 7 lumens. Oh, well, 20,000 candela and 2,000 lumens. Thank you. The last one I have is a, is a pistol light. It is the Surefire uh, X300 Turbo. And it, I know it's a pistol light, but the beam is so nice, I wanted to compare it. Uh, it is 66,000 candela, I believe, and only 650 lumens. So it goes to show you how important candela is uh having a good balance of both lumens and candela huh pretty good there's one more on the side but 50 cloud rain and then 100. the arasaka you good mm -hmm. arasaka the hot spot on this is bigger And less of a flood. Arasaka at 25, uh, 50, excuse me. The bigger hot spot and less of a flood. And then 100. As we say up here in the Northeast, that beam is wicked awesome. <laughs> Dad jokes. All right, testing. This is a first impressions video, not a full review. I've only have a couple hundred rounds through it. Like all lights, I usually start off with the waterproof test and this thing laughed at me. It's rated up to 100 feet for 24 hours. So the little bit of water I threw it in for a few hours, the light is like, you're weak, that's all you got. Come on, bring it on. I did a drop test. I, I dropped all lights waist height. And once again, this light looked up at me and laughed and said, that's it. Runtime test. I uh, lasted over 100 minutes. My camera battery died before this uh, flashlight battery died. 
so it is good to go. Now, as far as shooting, I have a few hundred rounds. Uh, shooting, two or three hundred, I don't know. I haven't counted. Um, most of that was during the daytime. And you will see some of the shooting during the day, I was activating the light. No, I'm not crazy. I activated just to get more use, more reps, more wear and tear in the light. It's just the more I can use it, the better, even if it's during the daytime. As far as uh, low light nighttime shooting, I did shoot it twice in the darkness, uh, besides playing around with it in my yard a whole bunch. Uh, we do uh, night vision shoots here locally. My friends uh, host some night vision shoots and I usually shoot under nods, but when I first got this, I was so excited. I broke this out and did a little bit of white light shooting while we are in between while we were shooting nods. I also brought it to my local indoor range, the Elite Indoor Gun Range. If you are in the Northeast, check them out. Beautiful, beautiful facility. They're nice enough to let me take over one of the range and do some shooting. Excuse me, do some shooting on the other side of the range in the darkness. And this thing, like I knew it was gonna light up the indoor range, but it lights up the indoor and the outdoor range. Like, wow, it is just a really, really bright light. Anyway, pros. Uh, I think cloud lights are built to another standard, another level. They put more thoughts into little things like the tape switch, uh, the tail cap rather, the lens. The lens is a great example. This lens is much thicker. It's user serviceable. If it breaks, you can shoot it point blank with a sim round. Like They put more thought into the lens than most companies put into the entire light. Uh, it's just built to another level. I like the tail cap. I like the tape switch. I like how they've improved all the mounts and it plays much better with laser aiming devices. That is great. What else do I have? I think it is the most durable light on the market. Um, I understand not everyone can afford it, but it is the most durable light on the market. And they still sell the Rain 2.0 if you don't want to kick up the extra money for the 3.0, the 2.0. As of right now, it's still available. It's made in the US. Most lights are not made in the US. I think just Cloud and Surefire. Uh, yeah, I think so. Just Cloud and Surefire. I don't think anyone else is. Maybe I'm forgetting someone. Who knows? And then the lumens and the candelar. I left that to the end on purpose because it has a ton of lumens and a ridiculous amount of candela. 100,000 candela. It is a candela monster. But again, you still have a great balance between a hot spot and a flood so it's good close up it's good indoors it's great out at distance it's just a great great balance as far as cons i don't have any cons of the light itself cloud makes great lights what i would love to see from cloud is a single button tape switch the only reason i don't use cloud lights on my night vision guns is because this tape switch takes up too much room uh, i usually use shorter guns like this this is an 11 and a half inch barrel from roscoe manufacturing because i work for roscoe and the barrel's awesome. And then if you put a mall on here with this big tape switch, you're, pretty much your whole rail is taken up and it's not great to reach to it. So if I could if I could beg Cloud for one thing, that would be to come out with a single button tape switch, even if it's momentary only, I don't care. Come out with a shorty half tape switch because the tail cap is proprietary and I can't use anything else. So please Cloud, make me a single button tape switch, please. And I'll love you long time. Uh, overall, like I said, I think this is, they make the best lights. I'm very excited to see their pistol lights. Most durable, made in the States, best beam. You get the point, they are good to go. I'll try to put some affiliate links down in the video description. I don't know who sells these yet, but if anyone does, hopefully I can find you one in stock because they're hard to get right now. And two, hopefully I can get you a good deal. I do need to thank Paragon one more time for sponsoring the video. They've been sponsoring all of my white light night vision type videos. You're not gonna appreciate the product unless you try it, unfortunately. If you're local to me, meet up and I'll clean all your lights for you because this stuff works really, really well. Everybody who's used it will say that stuff is legit. It works better than anything else. What else I got for you? I have a second YouTube channel, YouTube Shorts, 10 to 60 second videos, not long and drawn out like this. The link is down there if you wanna give it a follow. We have swag if you wanna support the channel. This is the best way to do so. Look extra cool in a Tiberius shirt or rock a Tiberius patch and I will love you long time. I can't believe I said that in a video. Most important, thank you for watching. It is truly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notification if you choose to do any of those things. Again, I appreciate it and I'll love you long time. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.